Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My apologies for the lack of updates. I was finally called back to work after being furloughed for so long. It's been about uh, six months since I was able to work. Uh, but yeah, I was actually called back. I finally have some time for some updates though, so uh, here we go. I've also had some shipments come in here and there, so I should have more videos on the way, so look forward to that. Today we have the 16D Sofubi WWE Asuka. This is actually the online exclusive green mask version. I'm very excited to have this in my collection. I've been a huge fan of Asuka and was even able to meet her. She is awesome and is most probably my favorite wrestler. She also has her own YouTube channel, it's Kanachan TV. So if you're not following her right now, most definitely give her channel a follow. Her videos are very enjoyable. Anyways, let's give this figure a review, shall we? And as always, let's start off with the packaging. Alright, well the box itself is black and red. It seems to be the 11th in this series. At the bottom we have a product shot of Asuka herself. As you can see the mask in her hand is the green mask version which matches her face paint uh, that she currently uses in the ring. On the one side we have a product shot of the back side of the figure with some of Asuka's stats. On the back we have more product shots of the figure. And on the last side we have a full body shot as well. Nothing too complicated with this box. Top of the box is uh, nice and clean with the logo and number. I assume this green dot is to signify which are the online exclusive green mask versions but of course I don't know that for sure, it's just a guess. Let's have a look at the figure now. All right, here we have it. I do like how it really has her likeness. That is most definitely Asuka's face and smile. They did a good job painting the mask. Then we have Asuka's trademark gear. Not her current gear, she wears a sort of window shirt as well. But uh, she still has an iconic look. There's really good sculpting on the chibi hands. And there's nice paint on the armbands. Her belt has some sort of leopard print design. The hair even has some sculpting on it. Not a whole lot of articulation, but there is some. The arms turn up and down. There's also a waist swivel, but I believe there's not much else. There's a really nice asymmetrical design here. So yeah, there we have it. Let's do some size comparison. Asuka is about as tall as a can of pop, or soda, whatever you call it in your area of the world. She is just a bit short of 5 inches. Alright, some final thoughts here. So I can see this figure being a, mu a must need for fans of Asuka, or wrestling, or even Sofubi collectors. But it should be noted, it doesn't have a whole lot of posability or articulation. The painting is very good, and the likeness other than of course the head to body ratio is spot on. This version I had to have imported through a mail forwarder to North America, so if you live in North America or some parts of the world, if you really want one it may cost a bit more, so be prepared for that. But I really like this figure, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So, again, have a look at uh, Kanachan TV's YouTube channel. Uh, if you like what you see, give her a subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
And of course, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a like for this video, and I'll see y'all next time.